minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Sokol, I want to go to uh, this issue of equal allocation around the country because I've heard from some witnesses that this seems to be all fairly distributed and couldn't have been done better. And yet, I understand from data I've received that uh, Pacific Corps, your subsidiary company in Oregon, uh, is only going to receive 53 percent of the allowances for free that it needs for compliance in 2012, which means ratepayers there will have to make up the difference of $163.5 million in one year. Meanwhile, our neighbors to the north uh, under this legislation, uh, Seattle City Light, will get 29 times the number of allowances it needs for compliance for a windfall of $54 million in one year alone. Now, that doesn't sound like a very even distribution uh, of, of allocation of, of these credits, does it to you? Uh, it doesn't. And, and I think it begs the question, if all these allocations are free, why are we doing it? Um, you know, rarely have I seen a circumstance in my career where someone says, all right, you have to buy these, and then I'm going to give them to you for free, and so you're going to be neutral. Well, if it's that simple, why don't we just not do it? And, and that's really our point. Sometimes I think people can't take yes for an answer. Place the caps in place. The caps of 3% reduction, 17%, growing to 83% by 2050. If that's policy, put them in place and mandate that every utility in the United States meet it. Those that already meet it have no cost and no harm. Those that don't meet it, and our utilities would not meet it, we would be required to go in and change our equipment to do that, and that's a fair thing for us to do. It, this bill then adds again to that through this trading mechanism, and I guess the point just is why have it if, if the allocation is fair and it's not going to cost anything, then why are we doing it? Why don't we just put the caps in place as we did with the Clean Air Act initially and, and ask our, our companies to meet it and we will do so or be shut down? Well, I, uh, <laughs> that's a thought I've often had, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sokol, that uh, I, I don't get this. Uh, it looks to me like we should have learned our lesson some from the subprime market. We had an amendment to prevent derivatives being pulled out of this, and, and I think that was defeated. Uh, during the markup, um, I am deeply concerned about the gaming of the system that lies ahead and the cost.